the Venn diagram shows a cardinality of the sets. We're asked to determine the following cardinalities. First, we have the cardinality of set A, which is equal to the number of elements in set A. So here we have set A. And again, the numbers indicate the cardinality in each set, and therefore the cardinality of set A is equal to 1 plus 12 plus 2 plus 11, which is equal to 26. The cardinality of set A is equal to 26. Next, we have the cardinality of C complement, where C complement is the set of elements not in set C or outside set C. So if this is set C, C complement is a set of elements not in set C, which is this set here. The number of elements in C complement, or the number of elements not in C, is equal to 1 plus 11 plus 9 plus 10, which is equal to 31. The cardinality of C complement is equal to 31. Next, we have the cardinality of A intersects C, where the intersection of two sets, A and B, contains only the elements that are in both sets, A and B. So we're looking for the number of elements in set A and in set C. A intersects C is this set here, a set of elements that are in set C and set A. And therefore, the cardinality of A intersect C is 12 plus 2, which is 14. Next, we have the cardinality of A union B, where the union of two sets A and B contains all the elements in either set A or set B, or in both sets. The set A union B is this set here. This is a set that contains the elements that are in set A or set B or in both. And therefore the cardinality of A union B is equal to 1 plus 12 plus 2 plus 11 plus 9 plus 7. Which is equal to 42. The cardinality of A union B is equal to 42. Next, we have the cardinality of A union B union C, which is equal to the number of elements that are in A or B or C, or two or three of the sets. So the set A union B union C is this set here. This is a set that contains the elements in set A or set B or set C, and therefore the cardinality of A union B union C is equal to 1 plus 9 plus 8 plus 11 plus 7 plus 12 plus 2, which is equal to 50. The last example we have the cardinality of A intersect B intersect C which is equal to the number of elements in set A and set B and set C. A intersect B intersect C is this set here. This is a set of elements that are in set A and set B and set C, and therefore the cardinality of A intersect B intersect C is equal to two. I hope you found this helpful.